I'm Max Eddy for PCMag.com, and this is What's New Now. Twitter has taken the wraps off its live streaming app called Periscope, which might end up giving Meerkat a run for its money, and I'm sorry I couldn't say that with a clever submarine slash African mongoose pun. Twitter bought the Periscope app back in January for a reported $100 million, and its release is hot on the heels of live streaming app Meerkat's breakout success. But while Meerkat was the first out of the gate, Periscope has a lot going for it. The Periscope app looks great, and unlike Meerkat, it gives users the option to save streams for later. That gives Periscope videos a life outside the moment. But the real difference may come on the back end. Twitter and Meerkat have a simmering feud over how the latter uses the former to connect users. Periscope is owned by Twitter, so it'll have no such trouble. It's worth noting that one thing both these apps are missing are Android versions. But while both Meerkat and Periscope are generating a lot of headlines and live streams, it's not really clear if either will make a dent in how the average person uses social sites. On the one hand, it seems like a natural progression. Facebook made people feel connected, Twitter connected us in the moment, and now live streaming connects us with sights and sounds. But live streaming can also be really intrusive, and also boring. Maybe that's the price of living in the moment. We'll have a full review of Periscope up as soon as I finish writing it right after this, so be sure to check it out on PCMag.com. That's what's new now, and I'm still Max Eddy. Okay.